In all sports, there are various instances and forms of cheating, ranging from small offenses to major scandals. Formula One racing is no exception and has had some of the largest scandals of cheating in all of sports. Take, for example, the now infamous 2008 Singapore Grand Prix, now remembered as Crashgate. During the 2008 season, the Renault F1 team was experiencing somewhat of a down year, having not won a race up until that weekend. That would change, however, for Renault driver Fernando Alonso, when on lap 14 of the race, his teammate Nelson Piquet Jr. crashed into the wall on the 17th turn, forcing a safety car to, sl to slow the race and to clean up the wreck. Having qualified 15th, this safety car forced the leaders to pit for new tires and fuel, allowing Alonso to easily inherit the lead, as he had pitted a couple laps earlier. The crash was regarded at the time as an accident by both the Renault team, PK Jr., and the governing officials, the FIA. However, when PK Jr. was fired from the team late the next season and losing his racing spot, PK Jr. blew the whistle on his former team. He alleged that he had been specifically instructed by team boss Flavio Briatori to intentionally crash to cause a safety car, to essentially guarantee Alonso the win. Later that year, Renault was eventually charged with conspiracy under the FIA rulebook, and as a result was disqualified from the current season and handed a two-year ban. Ultimately, this ban was alleviated, allowing Renault to continue the race Although team boss Briatori was banned from the sport indefinitely, and engineering director Pat Simmons was banned for five years. A more recent example is from the 2019 season, where Ferrari's car, the SF90, was alleged to be illegal. Entering the season, Ferrari had seemingly gained a massive straight line speed from a new, more powerful engine almost overnight, between the 12th race of the season and the 13th. This prompted rival team Red Bull to call for an investigation as Ferrari would go on to score six consecutive pole positions and win three of the next six races. An investigation by the FIA found that Ferrari had found a way to trick the car's sensors and allow more fuel than allowed to be used by the engine, thus giving a massive boost in horsepower as more fuel equals more power. Ferrari had done this by determining the interval at which the amount of fuel entering the engine was recorded with as shown visually in the infographic. The red area shows when the fuel is, flow is measured, as well as the maximum flow amount allowed. Ferrari then configured their fuel system to pulse, sending additional amounts of fuel in between the sensor's measurements. This resulted in more overall fuel being sent to the engine at a given moment, but it made it seem to the data and the sensors that there was no additional flow, essentially tricking the sensors into thinking the team used less fuel than it did when in reality, the engine was in fact using more fuel than was allowed by the, by the regulations and thus gained an unfair advantage. Ultimately, Ferrari was not punished, but instead made a secret deal with the FIA to stop what they were doing if they revealed how they had, been, how they had tricked the system so other teams could not copy them. This lack of punishment greatly angered the other teams, although the FIA claimed to take no additional action against Ferrari in order to avoid, quote, complicated legal cases. Since this case, there have been other minor instances of cheating in F1, such as Racing Point copying another team's car, but for the time being, there are no current scandals.